are joined by Madam Speaker and Pelosi. Thank you so much for being on your show. My pleasure. Madam Speaker, first question comes from Matt Garrington, who, who writes in saying Colorado's made an enormous commitment to building an, a new energy economy uh, with new wind manufacturing plants. His question is why hasn't Washington made that same kind of commitment? Well, we have made that commitment. We've made it in the House probably six times. Uh, since lost in the Senate by the Republicans in the Senate over and over again. We can't get past 59 votes. You need 60 votes in the Senate. But the point is, is that uh, this is what we have to do. Energy independence is a, it's, it's a national security issue. It's an economic issue. It's an environmental issue. And it's a moral issue to preserve our planet. So when we talk about renewable energy resources and the, uh, the tax credits and the investments in research that we must have for wind and solar and biofuels, when we talk about a transition with natural gas, then um, that, that is, that's something that can get us from here to there until all of these things are up and running. So it is a, the, our energy bill last year was a giant step forward. We need to do much more, and we can only do that if we have a Democratic president who's willing to sign the legislation and the, and the Senate that's willing to pass it. But I think if we have a Democratic president, that, that will, will persuade the Senate. Uh, Trudy Whitney wrote in, are we going to see more energy policy, at least before November in the House, including drilling and those kinds of things? We'll certainly have a debate on those subjects, uh, including uh, in, in a comprehensive way. But it will, be, um, uh, it will be in the context of what we need to do as we go forward. We must invest in renewable energy resources. Or else we'll just find ourselves in the same situation later. There are those who are insisting on offshore drilling in protected land areas, and if they want to do that, we want to see what that means. It, it, it takes 10 years and only two cents at the price of the pump, so it's a misrepresentation to say that that's going to help the consumer now. You can, you can help the consumer now by releasing oil from the throw. That'll, that would uh, produce a, a result in 10 days, but the president doesn't want to do that. We're going to still keep pushing. But uh, the, you'll see a comprehensive package on the floor of those who want to just say, we don't want to do any of those things. We just want to drill offshore in protected areas. They're going to have to make a strong case for that. I have one last question. Now, Kathy and Wilson have written in, and you're from the West, yeah. um, conventions here in the West. Yeah. Do you feel that the national parties are now addressing issues related to the region, our region and the country? I think that the, uh, the country is recognizing that a lot of the entrepreneurial spirit of America uh, is, is, uh, is growing in the West, and that it always has. Uh, but issues that relate to energy independence, which affects every aspect of our, of our country, whether you're talking about uh, issues about competitiveness and innovation, and that health care is a competitiveness issue, and that, that people in the West see this in a very co complete way. Uh, so I think the West will lead the way to a great democratic picture. I'm so thrilled that we're in Colorado because this is a state uh, that, again, as you said, right from the start, wants energy independence and, and has a plan to take us there, has a leadership that is committed to it and understands, understands how important it is. Thank you. Thanks very much.